between us and the Filipino people, between today and the future that we are determined to create. What you sign today will echo our commitment to fighting corruption and protecting the trust accorded to us by our people. Let us envision a Bagong Pilipinas where integrity is a steadfast reality, deeply ingrained in every part of our society. Thank you uh, to the Executive Secretary, uh, Secretary uh, Lucas Bersamin, for his introduction. Uh, please uh, take your seats. Senate President uh, Chis Escudero, the Honorable Members of the Cabinet who are here present, Ombudsman Chairperson Sammy Martires, Manila 3rd uh, District Representative Joel Chua, Supreme Court Associate Justice Antonio Co. Jr., World Bank Country Director uh, Zafer Mustafoglu, I hope I got that even just approximately right. United Nations Office on Drug and Crime Country Manager Daniel Marchese. My fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good day to you. On November 6, 2006, the Philippines ratified the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, or UNCAT. On that day, our country made a bold commitment to fight corruption, not just within our borders, but alongside a global community of nations. Almost two decades later, it is an honor and a privilege for the Philippines to host the fifth state conference on the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, Implementation and Review. This gathering is made more meaningful for our country as we set the course for a Bagong Pilipinas, where truth is our strongest currency and integrity is a cornerstone of our national identity. In 2014, we institutionalized the Integrity Management Program, or IMP, providing a clear anti-corruption framework. It served as a tool to enhance both individual and systems integrity across the bureaucracy. However, a decade into its execution, several challenges persist and prove to be unexpectedly complex. Gaps in implementation, evolving political climates and systemic vulnerabilities remind us that the war against corruption is far from over. With this conference's team, Pagpapatibay ng Kultura ng Integridad sa Bagong Pilipinas, we are called to go beyond implementing policies and protocols and to look deep into our core values to strengthen the culture of integrity. We must shift away from merely enforcing compliance with laws, rules and regulations to steering our people towards the practice of integrity in their daily lives. Integrity that is rooted in katapatan, malasakit, pakikipagkapwa and bayanihan. These need to be reinforced and sustained. This is the kind of transformation that we envision, which guides not only our systems of governance, but our behaviors as citizens of this Bagong Pilipinas. Yet we all know that lofty ideals will not suffice. People expect results, and results demand action. To build a government founded on integrity and, and accountability, we must adopt comprehensive and interconnected strategies. We are combating corruption using a two-pronged strategy. First, we streamline and digitalize processes that avenues for corruption become nil. At the forefront of this strategy is our initiatives like the government PH application and e-marketplace, which transform how government services are delivered. To further strengthen our digitalization efforts, I signed the new Government Procurement Act earlier this year. It establishes standardized electronic bidding and payment systems, amongst others, through the enhanced Philippine Government Electronic Procurement System. This shall be used by procuring entities, suppliers, manufacturers, distributors, contractors, consultants, and service providers to further increase efficiency, improve compliance, minimize the risk of corruption, reduce paper usage, and create a more detailed audit trail. 
The integration of data analytics with the procurement process facilitates informed decision making by procuring entities and the identification of suspicious, fraudulent and non-competitive practices. This will in turn provide transparency and proactive government monitoring, thereby ensuring judicious government spending. By streamlining and digitalizing processes, we are improving the efficiency and fostering trust and accountability between government and the public. Complementing this is our second strategy of empowering the people to participate in good governance. It is done by promoting full public disclosure of information in the way that we do business in government. Through the electronic Freedom of Information platform, citizens now have avenues to exercise their right to vital government information. Our national budget, which is detailed to the project level, is published online, allowing our people to know how much and for what public funds are being spent on. The new Government Procurement Act also in includes measures that ensure the accessibility of procurement processes and contract implementation information to engage observers and civil, so civil society organizations in procurement and make all procurement-related conferences available for public viewing. These efforts align with the IMP, which is now being reformulated to better address systemic challenges and to adapt to the ever-changing political landscape. Further, with the provisions of the UNCA, we continue to collaborate on the international front, emphasizing the importance of global partnerships in combating corruption. By learning from and working with other nations, we strengthen our anti-corruption mechanisms while reaffirming our place as a proactive member of the global community. Together, these intercon interconnected efforts form a united approach to fostering a government that is efficient, accountable, and reflective of a nation committed to placing honor and integrity over self-interest. Let the Fifth State Conference Resolution 124 you presented today be a powerful pact between us and the Filipino people, between today and the future that we are determined to create. What you sign today will echo our commitment to fighting corruption and protecting the trust accorded to us by our people. Let us envision a Bagong Pilipinas where integrity is a steadfast reality, deeply ingrained, in every part of our society. Let us make this promise to that, that to we fulfill for the future is ours to shape. Thank you very much. Good morning to you all. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipino. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, may we request the President to kindly remain on stage for a photo opportunity. May we call on guest speakers and cabinet secretaries to proceed on stage. Presidential UNCAC Interagency Committee members and Secretariat, please prepare. Presidential UNCAC Interagency Committee members and Secretariat, please prepare. Thank you. Please exit to your right. May we call on Presidential UNCAC Interagency Committee members and Secretariat to proceed on stage. Please prepare Program Management Committee and the OP Ombudsman's Technical Secretariat of the Integrity Management Program.
queue, please exit to your right. May we call on Program Management Committee and the OP Ombudsman Technical Secretariat of the Integrity Management Program to please proceed on stage. exit to your right. Now, may we request the President to please proceed downstage to grant us a group photo. May we also request our attendees to gather at the center and join us with a group photo. Mr. President, that ends our photo opportunity and that concludes our program.